cast your mind back to the middle of last year, do you remember the Las Vegas alien incident where there was a 911 call made where someone believed that they had seen 10 foot black shadowy beings in their back garden? Well, I might have something that could possibly link the two things together. A little hypothesis of mine, it, I, I, I could be, you know, bordering on conspiracy here, but hear me out because when I kind of like dug into this, my mind was blown. So, if you remember back to the middle of last year, there was obviously that 911 incident in Las Vegas that kind of took the world by storm. It was very shortly after the David Grush interview, so aliens were a huge topic. Um, and there was the uh, footage captured on the ring doorbells, there was the footage captured on the police dash cam, and it all kind of verified itself. Um, and then the whole story just kind of went quiet. We heard nothing about it. Well, I've got reason to believe that the beings that were seen at Las Vegas at that time could have been the very same beings that were seen in Miami Mall at the start of this year. And this actually was kind of sprung to me in, a, in an email from someone called Matthew. I'll leave it at Matthew because I don't know if they want their... Uh, name to be shared but they sent me an email simply saying same shadow figure was reported at the Las Vegas family last year thoughts and then sent me okay. a video um, of a breakdown of the the footage that was kind of captured a very deep analysis that I'd never actually looked at so if you can't remember the Las Vegas incident I've cast back to one of our very old videos and um, by very old it's about seven months old um, to kind of get you up to speed, so check this out. Midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw a bright fireball streak through the heavens. A police officer working in the Northwest Valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam. At nearly the same time, a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash. One family living in a ranch-style home had a much closer view of the object. Two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, then were hit by what they describe as a shockwave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. What they saw next... Does that not sound familiar? to the Miami Mall incident. Looking out, it was almost um, obscure, kind of camouflaged, kind of hard to see. It, it really rings bells with the Miami Mall incident and the things that people were saying, but just hang on because that's not where the similarities end. Next prompted a frantic call to 911. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. They're like eight foot. They're like eight foot. Now, the beings that were seen at Miami Mall were believed to be between 8 and 10 foot. Kind of, it, people went more with 10 foot because I think it kind of added to the drama of it. But, you know, that was the initial report around 8 to 10 foot beings. 9 feet, 10 foot, I don't know. Oh, 9 foot, 10 foot, 8, 9, 10 foot. So between 8 and 10 foot. Anyway, we continue. They look like, they look like aliens to us. Big eyes, they have big eyes. Like, like I can't explain it. And big eyes out. They're shiny eyes and, and they're not human, they're 100% they're not human. Eight News Now investigators have spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks, but each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or their phone. These are some of the claims they've made in other public forums. Multiple family members backed up the story in an initial police report we obtained. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. They later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw one of the eight foot tall creatures climb behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard as if trying to engage it. He got a good look at one of the creatures, he said, a greenish grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths and when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard, where the object had crashed, then vanished, a circular impression was left in the soil. Okay, where is this on your property? Metro sources say the police dispatcher initially wondered whether to send a crisis intervention team to help the troubled witness, but then took the incident seriously. 
Two officers arrived 38 minutes after the call, and by then it heard from other officers. They proceeded cautiously and managed some nervous laughs. I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> a few days later, the family says, two Metro sergeants returned to the scene to ask follow-up questions. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house in the following days. Nellis and Creech have denied any interest or involvement with the incident. Metro has indicated they believe the family that something crashed in their yard. But what? So that was the initial report that was made. Obviously, it was huge at the time. We just had um, the whole Miami Mall incident. We've got all of that stuff. But then there was this witness testimony from Angel himself um, who was there. It was in his backyard, and I think it was him that made the initial 911 call. Hello, this is my first video. I'm here to tell you what happened to me on May 1st, 2023. Now I'm trying to explain the best of my abilities. This is not a conspiracy theory. I'm not making this story out for cloud or fame. I just want to tell you what happened to me and my family. And I know some people are not gonna believe this, but each person is different. So this is what happened to me. Keep in mind, this is midnight and I'm fixing a truck in my backyard. At this point, I'm only with my brother, and I hear something fall from the sky. I turn around, the only thing I, I see is a big light falling from the sky, and moments after, I feel a big impact and a, and a bang, sort of like a big impact fall. And me and my brother looked at each other, and we were scared, but, the, but when the impact happened, it was sort of like a shock wave, like an out-of-body experience. So to say, when I tried to look at the object, it was all blurry, not my vision, but only the backyard area. And I hear thousands of footsteps around me, and maybe a couple seconds later, the blurriness was gone. And here's, here's the footage of the body, the police officer's body cam, and here's the object I'm, the object I'm referring to, the light. Video. So this was obviously on the police body cam moments before the 911 call came in. Here's a ring camera video. You can hear the bang. This is around the neighborhood. So here's the video. Now, what's interesting about this part is that it is strikingly similar to that of the sound of the um what what people claim to hear in miami mall just before the widespread panic kicked off what people believe to be gunshots um initially and what was believed to um or has been said to be just fireworks it sounds strikingly similar and those bright flashes could also relate to the portals, supposed portals, that opened up in Miami Mall. I know I'm stretching here. I know that people are gonna be watching this being like, you're, you're a melon, you're an absolute moron. And I know, but you know, the, the similarities are there. And uh, you know, I, I thought it would be an interesting talking point to kind of get some thoughts and opinions, but it does not end there. Believe me, it gets stranger. So when that happened, the only thing I can see in the backyard is a tall creature, probably around 8, 10 feet tall, very thin. So I called my dad, he went to the backyard, and he saw the same thing, the same creature I saw. He told me to go inside the house. At this point, we all freaking out, me and my family. So we're going to stop that video there, um, because it literally is just his, you know, um, testimony about it. But... What's crazy is I did a quick Google search on um, this incident and what came up was a um, article from the, I believe it was the Independent. It was the Independent. Um, and there was a photo that was sketched by the witnesses, by the family, of what this being supposedly looked like. Now, the photo's comical because you're going to see it on your screens right now. Obviously, from looking at it, you're like, well, that's just so stereotypical of an alien. I could draw that. Um, I don't need to have seen something. But, and that's exactly what I thought. When I first saw this, I was like, now this is getting ridiculous. But 
I then did a quick search on the TikTok page of the man that I featured in a video, it was a couple of videos ago where he did the very um, emotional interview. Uh, the one, the guy that claimed to have recorded the aliens on his VHS camcorder. Um, now I looked, because he did a sketch very shortly after um, of what he witnessed. Now, something I want you to take note of in this picture here is obviously the frame and this, the, the, the kind of look of this, but also this little thing right here, this little portal looking thing right here, because when we go over to this, we find this. Now, obviously this is very, whatever you want to call it. It's very strikingly similar to this um, with the dark, Ness, the the size, the kind of eyes, the mouth, but also this up here. Now, this could literally be absolutely anything, of course, but it's interesting that we've got this here and we've got this here. This obviously says help us. I'm not sure what this is in reference to, whether, uh, I mean, you know, whatever it is, but I found it strikingly similar, the two photos. Bear in mind that this one, this article was released on Friday the 15th of September 2023, and this video was uploaded to TikTok on the 7th of January 2024. So it's, you know, completely different timelines, completely, like, you know, there is no correlation as far as I'm aware of, like, the two pictures. I just found it so interesting that these two images, these drawings of witness, from witnesses of the beings are so strikingly similar. Now, this is the video that I was sent in an email from, um, I think it was Matthew, I believe. Um, I'm sorry if I've got that wrong completely. I get so many emails, it's literally so crazy, but it's awesome at the same time. So, this is a very deep dive, very deep dive, very, this is a deep dive into this uh, into this video um, and into the backyard footage um, as they walk through. Because if we remember back all the way back then, we didn't have footage of the um, aliens, or, or they were you know there was a lot of backlash for this guy because it was like you know why didn't you record this? Um, well, turns out he did. So here's this. So this is a very slowed down screen recording I took, and I know everybody is trying to find the aliens in front of these guys, but I noticed something insane, and I want everybody, my two friends who will watch this, to take a look down, uh, pay attention to two areas. We're gonna look down here on the bottom right behind their fence and right up there, but we're gonna first start down here because I found something crazy. Okay, so I want you to pay attention to what I believe is the creepiest part of this video. And I'm going to point out two things you need to pay attention to right here, which is the head. And if you look really close, there's actually a shiny black eye. And what you will see in about a minute is a hand. That, I believe, is some creature, non-human, crouching down. And that was its eye I just pointed at. And I want you to pay attention to what appear to be fingers running up the fence, as if it's kneeling down or something and peering out. And then there you go, see the fingers. And I think I, I go back and forth a couple times here, but it looks to me like uh, there's a little other or a big creature looking through the fence on the bottom there, crouched down. Now, it is incredibly weird. Um, my initial thought was maybe it was a dog. I'm not sure if the family have got a dog, but it could it could be, you know, the sizing would match up in in relation to the fence and um, how high off the ground it is. Um, but, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna approach it with an open mind. I mean, maybe I'm wrong, but you tell me. And then there's his fingers going right up. The thing is, is the way that it moves when you watch the footage is, it, it, it's not dog-like, you know? It's, um, it is like something's running its fingers up the sides of the fence and um yeah unless the dog's gone up on all fours but not likely and down up and down just looks like almost a human hand crawling up the fence and at the very beginning you see an eye and i think right here i show you the um the fingers um this is my really poor attempt at drawing over the fingers but you get it um so what's really interesting about this is 
it is happening next to them and kind of in front of them, but behind a fence. Um, yeah, the fingers are really crazy. So I think I'm gonna show up one more time and then I zoom out and I'll show you what even made me realize this was here. So, okay, so see how many different times of looking. So what I noticed was if you look at the top right, look at the top right right now, there's actually a shadow figure. A, it almost looks like it's a dense shadowy figure comes into frame. Now this is the part that kind of piqued my interest because obviously looking at the size of the people in the video, looking at the size of the fence, I mean in the UK I think it's, you know, fences are around six foot tall so if we use that, I, I, I don't know about the US, I'm sorry if I'm getting this wrong but I'm going to assume it's around the same so we're going to gauge the fences around six foot. This is a good couple of feet taller than the fence if this shadow figure is legit. If you're looking right, if the, at the three fence posts, if you're looking at the top right of them, you're actually gonna see something that looks like a shadow figure that has density, and it's only there for about a minute. And when it walks in the frame, I think I'm just gonna highlight it right here. I was doing the best I could on my phone. Um, I noticed there was movement below it, so I don't know if maybe the whatever creature was projecting a shadow up above it or something. Um, but see, there's the eye and the hands, but it also looks like there's another aspect to it, which is that shadow that you can clearly see walk in. I know everybody's looking for the alien in front of them, but there's one hiding next to them. Now, you know, I'm going to play devil's advocate. I'm going to play both sides of this. Um, it could well be just they've gone in with torches, um, presumably on their phones, as they've kind of panned it around. Obviously, the camera is going to be trying to kind of... Um, paint clear pictures um, and all the rest of it and the frame rate and the shutter rate blah, 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 blah. but you know it could just be the light adjustment from people going in with torches that's me playing devil's advocate I'm not saying that is what is the case but you know it's strikingly similar to the, the accounts from Miami Mall and it is strikingly similar to what this guy is claiming in his initial um kind of video. Now, looking at the guy's account who um, put out the initial uh, testimony, I guess, and the guy that was just kind of, the original footage of the guy that was just going over it, if that makes sense, he's only uploaded one video, and that was seven months ago, and that was his testimony. I mean, it got 960,000 views, and it got his channel to 18.9 thousand subscribers from one video, which is absolutely mind boggling, but he's posted nothing since, which, you know, take that, take from that what you will. For me, that makes it kind of, almost adds to the legitimacy because, you know, if he wanted to build a career off the back of this, there would be a lot more, but he's done nothing with it. Um, so, you know, I hand it over to you guys with all this information, with the photos, with the, accounts of the aliens with you know the video footage what do you make of this are these two separate accounts are these two separate incidents or are these the same beings just across two different events i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions let me know if you think i'm reaching it's not gonna hurt my feelings i'm made of tough stuff um so you know this is just a theory off of my uh off my own back sparked by an email from Matthew. So Matthew, shout out to you for that email. But what do you make of it? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, be sure to jump together, hell out that like button if you have not already and subscribe to get up, up to date with all the latest. And uh, tickle my little bell so you get notified whenever we upload. And until next time, guys, I hope that you have enjoyed. Cannot wait to see you in the next one. And I'll speak to you later. Peace.